Hi, this video is going to show you Jira integration with the FlowSim solution. If you're using Jira user stories to manage your development changes within your Salesforce environment, FlowSim integrates very tightly with Jira. As you can see here, I have three different Jira user stories linked to my branch in FlowSim. And as a recap, a branch is the deployment record or the collection of objects you're going to be deploying that are related to these user stories. When you configure the tool, uh, it is a connector that we provide as part of the solution that you install. And I will show you how you configure the connectivity and so forth uh, in a moment. But right now, you would determine what fields are bidirectionally synced. So, um, for example, I have these three tickets in here. If any of this information changes in JIRA, it will be reflected back down here and flow some real time. And if you want to, you can create a custom workflow in JIRA with specific triggers uh, designed around your FlowSum activities. So when I deploy this to QA, this branch, I can have these three tickets updated to say the status is now deployed to QA. If I want to, when I deploy this production, I could close these tickets. And again, you can select any of the fields you want to have updated between the two. At any time I can click on this link, it will put me directly into my JIRA system and I can review these details of the ticket um, fully here. Now to add tickets to a branch in Flosum, we make it very simple for you. You go in and, and search your JIRA issue. It's a simple keyword search. For example, I will search on Apex. And this search is directly in your JIRA instance. There is nothing cached in Flosum. So this is a direct query to the updated information in your JIRA. Um, only projects that you determine will be listed here, so you may have many JIRA projects that are not related to Salesforce, so in the configuration I'll show you how to select what projects are available here, and then you can filter through them if you have more than one. In this case, my search for Apex came back with three different user stories. So again, I click on the link, I review this ticket, if this is something that I know needs to be added, I can select that. I can select multiple, and you can determine in the configuration, which I'll show you, whether you want to have a one-to-one -one relationship mandated, so you can only have one user story per branch, or that, as I'm doing here, you can have a many-to-one, so you could have multiple user stories on a branch. So you determine that in the configuration, which you'll see shortly. So I click on link to object, and these are now here and being tracked with this branch. Now if in the course of doing your work with this branch, you find the need to create another user story or ticket or a bug or whatever the case is, you can actually do that from within here as well. So you can go in and again you'd select your project, is it a bug, is it a task, etc. And then you determine what fields based on what issue type it is are available here for you to fill out. Um, I've only selected a couple but once you fill these out and click save, this will be created in your JIRA system and then it also will be linked to here and track with your product. So making it very easy for you to work between the two tools without having to update them manually back and forth by going to different tabs, copying, pasting. Uh, it's all done behind the scenes. You won't forget to update your statuses as you do your different activities. So that way there when people are checking on things, they'll always have the latest and greatest information available to them. So now, how we configure Jira. As I said, you install a connector uh, we provide that to you, it's included with the solution, and it comes in as an application into our tool. So this is where you do all of your configuration and your mapping. So the first thing you do, when you configure this, you come up with credentials, you have to put in a few different things. So you say what credentials you're going to use, and then this is where you can do your many to many um, integration, or if you do this, this is just a one-to-one. -one. So you determine how you want to have these mapped. Next thing I do is I want to configure what projects in JIRA are available to Flowsum. So as I stated, you've only seen one project in Flowsum, but you see I have a couple other projects in my test JIRA environment. So I determine is it read or can I write so I can do back and forth. What is my default issue when I'm creating a new issue? All the different issue types I want to sync. So once I've done this, I then can go in and 
map my fields, say what fields I want to have and different things. So I can say these are the fields I want to have synced back and forth. So I can link those for each particular issue type I've selected. And then I, once I've created those, then I can go in and I can also set up some um, different statuses. So how my status in Flowsome will map to the status in your Flowsome environment. And then you can also add some workflows and things like that. So very, very easy for you to go in and configure how you want to have your Jira integrate with Flowsome. So you're basically working in the one environment and keeping both of your systems in sync. Thank you.